So today is the day. I'm 55. Yay! Happy birthday to me. And those of you who have been following me for a while are going to be wondering, did I monetize my YouTube channel by my 55th birthday? I'll answer that question right now so you don't have to wait till the end. Although I'd like for you to watch the whole video because there's a lot of really interesting nuggets in here. But the answer is no, I did not. Well, that is unless I get 185 subscribers and 2,800 watch time hours sometime today, then we can say I did. You want to help me do that? I'm just joking. <laughs> just four months ago, I had 57 subs and under 100 watch hours. And right now I have uh, 814 subs and about 1,200 watch hours. And in that time, from about April until now, I've learned a ton about being a content creator. So in this video, you're going to learn a few things. You'll learn the top three things that I learned after making 33 videos in three months. You'll learn the one thing that you should never do as a content creator. And you're also going to learn the surprising benefit of being on YouTube that nobody could have ever possibly predicted, not even me, and I'm really good at having intuition about things, and this one flew right by me. But first, why did I even start this challenge to begin with? Well, I had my channel started in January of 2024, and then, um, a few months in, after making a few videos, I came across another YouTuber who was challenging herself to monetize her channel in 10 weeks. And she was also a Gen Xer. So I thought, hey, she could do it, I could do it. So <laughs> um, I decided to give it a try. And um, I went ahead and started really learning about what I needed to do each week to improve. Now my challenge videos, I did them consistently for about three weeks. And then I realized that it was really too much for me to be able to do that and make another content related video while working full time as an elementary school teacher. So the the video production of the challenge videos slowed a bit, but I was still making videos. Um, all the while, though, really putting my nose to the grindstone, I think that's the saying, and um, trying my trying my best and learning everything that I could learn. So that leads me to the first thing that I learned, which is the value of the comment section of your videos. It is in the comment section of your videos where you get to interact with your viewers. So once you realize that there are viewers who have something to say, most of the time it will be positive and now and again it will be negative. But once you realize they have something to say, it's, it's like a, a, an act of kindness to respond. It's an act of kindness to respond with more than a thumbs up and more than a heart, but to say something back, um, using their first name if you know their first name, um, commenting on something that they said rather than just saying thank you. That's how relationships get built and that's how people begin to trust you as a creator and as a human. So um, using the comment section was really something that started to grow my subscribers quite quickly because those people felt safe in wanting to come back um, and being in a place where they were welcomed. Uh, there were a few comments here and there that popped in that were not kind or very critical. And I just would write back, thank you for taking the time to leave your comment. Just something very neutral and then left it at that. And the one or two that I felt were like really negative and I didn't want to have to see anymore, I just removed them. It's simple. I didn't need to say anything in response because I don't want to create a negative vibe on my channel. So once I got that down, um, I realized that there's still room for improvement. And I had started, um, had started falling into the habit or the style of that high retention, high energy editing uh, with very highly scripted videos. And I love a challenge. I really love learning new skills. So learning how to do that was amazing. Like um, I had so much fun playing around with the editing app that I use and with all of the stickers and the changes and the sounds, the sound effects. 
but man was it tiring and it took a lot of time to to edit a video um, it took a lot of time and i was starting to dread the editing process and i was starting to take more time in between videos to get one finished and produced i just i knew that i wouldn't be able to keep that up if i was going to be doing this part time which is what i'm doing now so i decided to stop the high retention high energy editing style of videos and i decided to start being myself which is to just sit down here and talk with some bullet points right now i have my bullet points on my ipad sometimes they're on a piece of paper or in a notebook and i just talk to you and for me that feels so much better and by the way if it takes longer to monetize this way oh did I just give it away? No, I didn't because I already told you in the beginning. <laughs> but if it takes more time for me to monetize this way, that's fine. This is what feels better for me. Okay, so now I had made two really big adjustments to my content creating strategy. And I knew that I still needed a bit more understanding of how to like make this work for me. And I ended up coming across a channel called Live Video School, run by Scott and Scotty. They're a father-son duo. And um, they already have a channel of, that is thriving with about 100,000 subscribers. And they started this other channel to help content creators. Their style was just like my style now. Just relaxed, talking, sharing their thoughts with some bullet points. But the thing that they do that I find works so well for me is this strategy called um, at bats. So the more videos you put up, the more at bats, the more chances you have to have a hit. But with that, what's important is not to attach myself to the outcome of any one video. So prior, to finding their channel and using them as a resource, I would, I would like look at each of my videos as my little babies. You know, they're things that I created. So I was very proud of each of them. And I would hold each one of them to account. <laughs> I would want them to thrive. I would want them to grow. I would go in and make little hacks and adjustments to them along the way to, to you know, push them along. I would check on them constantly. Oh my goodness, this was exhausting. So in the last couple of weeks, I have just kind of released the need to um, feel that sense of parental ownership about each of the videos that I produce. And I'm just making them and putting them out. And whichever ones resonate, resonate. And whichever ones don't, don't. But the more that I create with ease and simplicity, the quicker monetization will come to me. It will come naturally. So I, the last thing that I've learned of these three things I just mentioned is to just make videos and not to attach myself to any one result. So I thought that with all of these things that I've learned that I had it in the bag, I was connecting with my viewers, I was making more videos without getting attached to them, and I was and am still being myself but with all that i was still feeling really anxious um i was still feeling really anxious about my channel and its performance and then i realized one more thing that i needed to do i was still well actually one thing that i needed to not do anymore <laughs> I was still listening to a lot of the high powered YouTube gurus. I don't want to um, like bash on them. There is a lot of value to be found, but if you listen to too many of them, their advice starts to contradict one another. And if you follow them like cattle, you're really never gonna get anywhere. The bottom line is a lot of these high powered content creation gurus also have channels that they want to thrive. So they're putting out a lot of content with bits of information all the time to um, get you to keep watching, right? And it was just too much for me. 
I felt like I was doing one thing one day and then switching gears and doing something else the next with no consistency in my style or my process at all. So I decided to stop listening to the gurus. Just stopped. Once in a while I might check in, but they are not my go-to anymore. I'm not saying there's not any value to be found there, but just take what they have to say with a grain of salt. That's all I'm trying to say. Now, before I share with you the surprising benefit from having my channel, I'd love for you to let me know in the comments what brought you to my channel, Beautiful Life Sage. And if you've been here for a while, I'd love for you to let me know what keeps you coming back. That would help me out a lot in the content that I create going forward. I love getting to know my subscribers. And if you're new here, just know that I always answer comments. That's the important part. Speaking of comments, it feels like it was so long ago already, but it was really only like three or four months back when I ended up meeting one of the most beautiful people I have met in decades. And it turns out that this beautiful person lived in my county. And it turns out this beautiful person had a YouTube channel of her own. And it turns out this beautiful person had so much in common with me. So lo and behold, I encouraged this beautiful person to reach out to me via email and get in touch with me. And it took a while, but this beautiful person and I have now become what I hope will be forever friends. And I'll link her channel in the description box. Her name is Tracy and her channel is Life in the Wild West. And she is a beautiful person. I am forever grateful. I would have never thought that by creating a YouTube channel, I would have made a friend that I will have forever, that I get to see monthly, that I get to chat with off YouTube. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful benefit of being a content creator. Okay, so let's wrap this all up. I'm not monetized yet, but I do know everything that I need to know to achieve that. I've refocused my energy on showing up as my true self on making true connections and enjoying this adventure which is so creative and so affirming and mentally stimulating <laughs> um, I will keep you all updated here on how I'm doing with monetization but it's not going to be a regular part of my channel anymore if you were here for my monetization series only I hope you choose to stay because there's so much value that you can get from listening to stories and meeting other people and connecting. Um, I will continue to give all of my sage advice and I look forward to seeing you here on my next video.